Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today the robot is um, messing up. Please check that wheel. Yeah, you stupid. And you're in camera and everything. Go, move on. Okay, that wasn't what this video was about. I just thought it was interesting that this rather inexpensive Chinese uh, vacuum cleaner that I purchased like three years ago and is way smarter than my robot lawnmower is still working very nicely. Um, we're going to be in the data center today. And in the data center I have my 24-7 server complaining, ramping up and down in fan speed because I'm rendering out the video for Tuesday so it's working hard on that uh, 23 minutes in 4k yeah so uh, it's gonna be okay it's using a, a bit of power doing that though so uh, at the moment the data center is using over 500 and then it dropped but it's it's rendering out video I'm wondering why it's going up and down like that it should be working hard all the time but never mind <clears throat> I wanted to do a video on this server which is the awesome Lenovo uh, X3650 model 5 it says it right here but um, I turned it on uh, just a little bit ago I was rendering out this video still and it um, it started up ish and then I was out in the garden doing something else and then I heard a constant beep. I thought that it was just my tinnitus getting to me. But uh, when I came closer, I could hear that it was actually the UPS that was beeping its head off. And it had shut off everything. And I couldn't understand what was going on. But uh, yeah, I went around the back and I disconnected. What did I disconnect? I disconnected this new server that I plugged in. Um, I plugged that directly into the automatic transfer switch. And uh, for some reason, everything had shut off. And the UPS had very quickly used up all of its power because, well, I was drawing a bit more power than, than usual. So um, yeah, that didn't take long at all. This one was fine. Apparently, this server had killed the automatic transfer switch um, and the power supply in the server which is just randomly laying here is no longer working so yeah i don't i don't know this server didn't like the solar power ish it worked for a little bit and then it stopped working uh this one hasn't been complaining it's complaining it's a RAM error really should go and fix that uh, yeah I should have done it now that it was down anyway but well you know when you have a server down you try to get it up as fast as possible and I didn't think about the RAM error at that point I just turned everything back on and I had to go to the UPS and tell it to come on and off and funny enough when we look down here can we yeah, the, the battery said that it was fine and it's only like half loaded, not even, well, somewhere around half, somewhere between half and a little bit more than half uh, loaded. So drawing like 550 watts ish. So um, yeah, I killed the power supply and that's all right. I tried it multiple times. I took it apart, but you know, server power supply uh, when it dies like that you can't really trust it so I am um, I tried to pop in a power supply for the for the SR650 that goes in here I have no idea if it will work but I'm gonna wait until I'm done rendering before I start testing that I don't need to uh... oh yeah it had also tripped my breaker in the house so so somehow this power supply just short-circuited 
and then it didn't short circuit anymore because when I tried to pop it back in nothing happened well it's not short circuited anymore but no lights comes on when you turn it on so <sighs> issues um, so when this is done rendering we're gonna try that power supply and see if that uh, will run the server mm. okay so in here where the, the cleaning lady is working uh, the, the video is rendering it's 27 percent done so yeah it's gonna be a little bit okay so the video is done rendering and the noise level has gone considerably down in the data center so yeah we um, we have this server it's just a little bit out because I have a cable in the way so I'm gonna try that power supply that I just put in back there let's go and see that okay here it is and I popped in that it's an 1100 watt power supply um, the other one, the SR650, is only uh, 750 watts. It doesn't matter, it's plenty. But um, I have, have the back of the automatic transfer switcher and I, I have a power cable coming out of that, this one. And we're gonna try and pop that in. See what happens, see if it if it's the power coming out of there that's not good so. power did it power up yeah there is power on it let's go in front of here eh, it's not happy about that power fail doesn't like that power supply much mm. I wonder if I'm even able to power it on. We could try, it's not gonna... Well. Dang it! So even if the power supply fits in there, it doesn't work. Um, I do have another one though. It could be a bad power supply. Who knows? So uh, yeah, I am not afraid of trying one more. Okay, I do not like this fail. I didn't I didn't put the power supply in yet. So it says system board fail. I don't like that one. That doesn't sound good. Okay, we are having the cover off. I wanted to check if there was anything obvious in here. And there is, there is not. I uh, can't see anything wrong with it. Uh, I've messed around with this server. I have a SAS expander up here. Or room for more drives. Uh, not using it. I should really disconnect that if I'm not using the extra drives up there. But, yeah, that's a waste of power. But At the moment it's not power at all. So it's not a waste of anything. But yeah, this is unfortunate. Hmm, what's the power thinking for the power supplies? I'm sure that is needed. Okay, so just for fun and giggles, I popped the 750 watt power supply back in there. And this is the one that doesn't really do anything. So we're gonna power it. Let's put power onto it. And nothing happens. Uh, there are some LEDs on the power supply here and they should come on if anything is going on and I have plugged it in over here Let's make sure Let's try another one next to that one maybe No No, didn't make any difference Sorry, doing an awful job filming here. It's very dark back here. <laughs> and not a lot of space. So. Okay, that power supply is definitely not up to specs. So, um, hmm. So, when I just pop in the 1100 watt power supply here, it seems to start up the IMM on the server and right now it's checking out some secure boot stuff 
and I'm sure it's going to be complaining in a little bit about the power supply because around the back here, we go back here, I have a flashlight here. Um, you can see on the SR650 up here, we have, an, we have an LED that tells us that the AC is okay. And then we have another LED that tells us if the DC is okay. And the AC is the power coming in and the DC is the power going out. And down here on the X3650 model five, we have good AC coming in, but it's not, the, the DC is not being forwarded correctly or it's not telling the power supply that it's good. So I'm guessing that there is a difference in the way that these two servers communicate with the power supply which is really annoying because it would have been so... I don't have any other power supplies for the X3650 Model 5, but I have plenty for the SR650. Bummer! Okay, now oh, it has some kind of a power error here. Uh, I'm sure we can't power it on. Yeah. It, uh, it fails, so uh, I think it's the power supply. So here are some power supplies. Um, this one is the one that ha has failed, 750 watt power supply, and that's for the X3650 model five. This one is a 750 watt power supply. And this one is for the SR650, and the only visible really thing that you can see from these two power supplies, they they are kind of almost identical in the back of them. Well, this little bit, this is metal, this is plastic, uh, but there is this groove over here uh, on the SR650, which means that you can't take the power supply from the from the older server and put it in the newer server but it doesn't go the other way around it just doesn't work because apparently the communication with the power supply is different in the new server so that's a bit, a bit sad that they're not compatible but yeah i need to go shop for a new power supply if i want to continue to play with that server apparently eh, here's another power supply this one is a 550 watt uh, power supply. This is for the uh, awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 4, so previous version to this, and it does the same thing. It doesn't doesn't give me the the DC OK when I pop this in. Kind of does the exact same thing as the as the newer model, but even though it's an older model, this one also goes in. So um, yeah, they are kind of compatible in. Uh, in shape and size and stuff, but it doesn't work. Okay, as we need a new power supply, I might just take the opportunity to promote Bargain Hardware in the UK, where, um, yeah, they have fantastic service. Uh, we need a component and we need a power supply. We need a server power supply there. They have a lot of those. Uh, we need to filter that uh, into Lenovo. Ba, ba, ba. They have a power supply and it's and they only have one and that's for the system that I need. What a coincidence. <laughs> I couldn't have planned this much better. 15 pounds, that's not too expensive. They only have one, seems. Let's check in stock. One in I think they only have this one, so we're gonna we're gonna take that one from them. Check out there, and we're gonna apply our coupon code, which is my playhouse. Apply coupon code, small letters. We get fifty-five cents off of the price. Uh, I need to pay some shipping as well. I'm sure. Uh, proceed to check out so now I need to tell it where it goes and stuff and yeah um, I'll tell you what it costs 
So this video for sure didn't go as I had planned. I was gonna I was gonna do something in, in Proxmox and therefore I was turning on the server to mess around with Proxmox. That didn't work, so I ended up uh, ordering spare parts from Bargain Hardware. I do really recommend Bargain Hardware. They are perfect if you're in the UK or if you have a company in the EU. If you have a company and you have a, a VAT number or an import number, you don't have to pay the import taxes and Bargain Hardware will fix that for you. And that way it goes around Ireland or something. And if you have access to a company VAT number, you can get around the import taxes and stuff. I um, could probably do something like that. I didn't do anything like that. And it ended up costing me just about 24 pounds. Uh, uh, 10 pounds shipping over here. And it's probably gonna be picked up by customs and they're gonna be punishing me as well. So I will also thank my Patreons because they're gonna be coughing up for this. So thank you very much if you're a patron of mine. Be sure to check out the Patreon link below. Every Sunday I put out a, an extra little Patreon video explaining to my Patreons what I've been doing this weekend, a little behind the scenes thing. Um, and normally I hang out on Discord from 9 o'clock at night and at least an hour. And tonight, which is a Sunday, is actually a day where I'm going to be skipping because it's the, we call it Sankt Hans here. It's the, the celebrating the longest day in the year and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and visit some family and we're gonna barbecue and stuff. And therefore I'm not gonna be on Discord. I told my patrons that last Sunday I knew about it. So I do like to give a heads up when I'm not available for the next one. And, and I have had to call in sick as well. So, um, but check out Patreon. I know that the economy in the US is going fantastic right now, so I know you have money to burn over there. Some of the countries in the EU, maybe not as much, but well, but overall it's not a total disaster. Well, it is a disaster that my server is not working, but I'm fixing that, shopping at Bargain Hardware. If you want to shop at Bargain Hardware, remember to use the coupon code my playhouse small letters all the way just my playhouse and you get five percent off of your first purchase and that can of course become a lot more money than this tiny little purchase that i did here which was an awful use of my five percent discount code uh, so if you do shop at bargain hardware make sure to use your discount code at the right moment because it only works once until I negotiate with them and have them renew it, which I really should do. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.